Hey gang, Jason here for the Love of Trackers, and I'm going to tackle one of the uh, most frequent questions I get from you guys, and that is how to make flashers for a tractor. So I'm going to do two kinds. I've got I've got this 8000 series John Deere here, and I've got a 40 series John Deere four-wheel drive here. Uh, so this one will have uh, your sort of standard flasher on each side, while this one will have a bar flasher across it. Um, very simple, very straightforward. If you were in the live chat the other day, you saw me do this in about 30 seconds. I'm going to explain a little more and do it quicker, or do it not as quickly this time. So I use 0 0.06 by 0 0.08 styrene, uh, 1 4 scale, 3 by 4. Um, you can kind of see the other different measurements on there. Uh, you can get these from Evergreen and quite a few other places. You can see what I paid for that uh, for a package of 10 so uh, it's very inexpensive so that's what I've got here you can cut this with pretty much anything hobby knife if you want to use some snips of some sort you can do that certainly um, you know whatever works for you um, a lot of people like these saws so on and so forth uh, sprue cutters again whatever works for you I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use my uh, super dull hobby knife here um, so I guess the first thing now you could you can measure this and get it exact but what I typically do is depending on the spacing of my dual uh, or my tires that's what I go off of now I don't have rear tires on this that's sort of under construction so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fake it we're gonna put there we go set like that so I roughly want this to come out to the end of that duel, which is, you know, let's call it that. So, um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to snip that. Then, now if you want a straight flasher, well, you're, you, you can be, basically be done here if you want a straight flasher. You can mount that uh, just using some super glue. You can paint it uh, and you're good to go. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to make myself a curb flasher and so I first thing I'm gonna sand this uh, or file this edge just so it looks a little nicer look at that easy now here's the trick so I want it to curve if I pull it like this so you guys can see a little better so I'm starting back at the cab post there and I'm just using my thumb and I'm just giving that a little bit of a curve now you can go too far and snap these but you'd be uh, you'd really have to crank on them to do that there we go curve flasher just for the heck of it here let me grab a let me grab something so I can get my hand out of the way so you know something like that now my what I want is I want this end flat and that means we'll have to contend with this end. So, again, I'm going to take my file. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to take my file. I just want it to look nice and clean, so that's why I'm doing this. And I'm sanding an angle on it like that. So, when I mount it, it looks like this. I'm sorry, I'm super shaky today, guys. Uh, I don't know, I guess it's just old age getting me. I, don't, I can't quite figure it out, but I've just been super shaky lately. So, something like that. Now, like I said, you can super glue this on after you painted it and you're done. Uh, that's a flasher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one step farther and I'm going to show you how to make this turn. So, that means a straight pin. You can get a million straight pins for very cheap at uh, you know all sorts of places. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head of that and kind of set up on there. And I kind of just want my length a little longer hope you can see that okay a little longer than the uh, I don't know whatever, whatever we're gonna call this our flasher bar so I cut this straight pin I am getting my sprue cutters out I have a set just for cutting metal because you can see I don't know if you can see or not it nicks those up pretty good anyway here we go let's give those a quick I'm, I'm gonna come up just a hair more I'm gonna give those a quick snip boom done okay so now it's time to glue so just my you know whatever you use your your glue of choice 
And this is going to be dried. Yep, of course it is. Okay. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, got my glue unplugged. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Okay, here's what we're doing. So again, I'm just going to put this right up at the head there. And then I've got my activator in a bottle. And I'm going to put a dab of activator where I filed that. And then we're going to put them together, like so. There it is, guys. Okay, now, you might be wondering, well, how the heck are you going to get that to turn? Well, I've glued myself to myself, for one. <laughs> there we go. So I've got a little drill. Uh, now, this is going to take a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right here behind that cab support and uh, that will be our uh, support hole so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video again and I'm gonna drill this and then we'll come back okay so I've got my hole drilled there right behind the cab and look at this that's just gonna slide in there and now we have a, a pivoting flasher marker now I got my hole a little bit too big there so probably what I'll do is I'll fill that and uh, make it smaller so that that's snug in there. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Anyway, you can certainly use a thinner uh, styrene if you want. You just kind of got to play with it, get the size that you like. But like I said, that 60 by 80 works pretty good for me. It's a little chunky, but I think it's good. Now, I'm going to show you another quick tip here. Sort of version 2 of this, if you will. I'm going to take a little piece... Uh, about right there. <clears throat> I just want a little sort of rectangular piece of that, like so. Then I'm going to apply my glue here, like so. And then we're just going to carefully do that. So check that out. Now we've kind of got an end cap on there, so that works for other style tractors as well. So, there it is guys. Like I said, I, I messed up my hole just a bit. But there it is. That looks pretty good on there. Okay, so that's two-wheel drive. <laughs> I just dropped my styre. Or I guess two-wheel drive in front assist tractors. Now, let's do one for the four-wheel drive. So this is just going to be a straight bar across, like so. I really do want a thinner piece for this, I think. That's that's a little bulky, so let's try a thinner one. Okay, here's what we got here. This is about a .40, roughly. So again, you want this to cover your, your tires, so I'm just going to kind of guess here since I don't have tires on this tractor. Let's call that it. So I'm going to cut. Voila. So there you go. Now you can do the same trick I did earlier. And we can dress it up a little bit. Oh, that was too big. I'll just cut that in half, I think. Well, one piece went shooting off. And again, just on either side, or you, know, you want to do it on both sides, just glue it. And stick it. And that just went flying off onto my shirt. <laughs> there we go. It's not exactly lined up right. Well, this could be a blooper here, huh? Well, you saw it work earlier, so we know it works right. Okay, I'm going to try to do it because I'm, I'm holding my hands out so it's in front of the camera and it's making me even less steady than I already am today. There we go. Ta-da! Put that on the tractor. Like so. 
And you've got a decent looking flasher bar back there. So anyway, that is how you can scratch build flashers for very little money at all. Well, you saw on the price tag, it was $2.99 for a whole gob or $3.99 for a whole gob, 10, 10 sticks of that. So you can imagine how many tractors you can do with 10 sticks. So anyway, guys, I guess that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Have yourselves a great day. Happy tractor hunting.